competency check of for adult physical assessment. The nurse shall be competent in performing basic physical assessment of adult patients. For interpersonal skills, a nurse should display effective verbal and nonverbal communication, she should be friendly and courteous, introduce self to patient or family, she should be professional, culturally sensitive or caring, educates patient and family, and provide privacy as in quiet, as, a, as quiet a place as possible, well lit room, and see that the patient is comfortable. For psychomotor skills, she should be able to do hand hygiene, prepare equipments which includes stethoscope, tongue depressor, lift reflex hammer, gloves, thermometer, training fork, dynamo, flashlight or pen light, safety pin, and ophthalmoscope. Identify patient correctly, gather subjective data, which includes citing chief complaint of patient, obtain history of past and present illness, medical and surgical, obtain social and family history, determine allergies and intolerance in medication and food, and perform pain assessment using appropriate pain assessment tool. Gather objective data, obtain baseline vital signs, Obtain height, weight, and waist circumference or anthropometric measurements. Um, general survey. Assess state of general health, which includes physical development, nutritional status, and mental alertness. Observe for general appearance of the patient. Notice the race, sex, affect, restlessness, apparent age, Apparent age, body posture, and obvious signs of distress or respiratory or mental distress. Assess general hygiene or grooming. Conducts nursing assessment using system approach. Skin. Examine, examination of the skin is correlated with the information obtained in the history and other parts of physical examination. Examine the skin as you proceed through each body system. Inspect the skin and describe findings, which includes color, pigmentation, cyanosis, scars, hydration, mucous membrane, color, bullet, texture, temperature, lesions, elasticity, trigger, capillary, capillary refill, and edema. Inspect nails. Notice the shape, color, hygiene and brittleness. Palpate for temperature, texture, elasticity, and turgor. For head and neck, inspect for symmetry of face, configuration of skull, hair color, and distribution, and the skull. Palpate for hair texture, masses, swelling or tenderness of scalp, configuration of skull. Assess ears. Notice the shape, position, Mass, hearing, acuity, discharge, odor, and color. Assess the eyes. Assess the globes, sclera, pupils, eye movement, visual acuity, and discharge. Assess nose by uh, noting drainage, septal deviation, patency of nares, nasal bone deformities. Assess mouth by assessing for lesions, bleeding, odor, teeth or gum condition, buccal mucosa, mucosa, pharynx, tongue, salivary glands, ovula, and tonsil. For neck, we assess it, its movement, limitation, rigidity, carotid pulsation, trigger placement and position, thyroid, muscular symmetry. We also palpate lymph nodes, cervical uh, clavicular axillaries for firmness and tenderness. Now we go to thorax and lungs. Inspect the appearance of thorax. Determine the rate and rhythm of breathing. It's 
affect the spine for mobility and any structural deformity. Observe the symmetry of the posterior chest and the posture and mobility of the thorax on respiration. Note any bulges or retractions of the coastal interspaces on respiration or any impairment of respiratory movement. Note the anterior posterior diameter in relation to the lateral diameter of the chest. Palpate for swelling or tenderness and palpate anterior chest excursion or its movement. Uh, auscultate breath sounds in anterior thorax. For heart and peripheral vascular uh, stem, obtain baseline heart and blood pressure. Look for apical pulse, which is at the fifth intercostal space, make clavicular line. Identify landmarks for cardiac assessment. Palpate to detect vibration or thrill. Then auscultate for heart sound. Notice S1, S2, and other heart sounds. Assess neck veins, internal jugular pulsation, external jugular distension. Assess capillary fill. Should be less than. It should not. Should be not greater than three seconds. Observe and palpate for peripheral edema. Assess extremities for warmth, distal pulse, swelling. Assess skin color, temperature, and diaphoresis. For the abdomen, prepare client by allowing voiding of bladder before assessment. Correctly draping and positioning client and explain steps of procedure. Obtain, observe the general contour of the abdomen. Also note symmetry, visible peristalsis, and aortic pulsations. Inspect condition of umbil umbilicus for contour of or hernia and the skin for rashes, striae, and scars. Question if Question client if bruising is question client if bruising is present. Auscultate the frequency and character of bubble sound. Listen over the aorta, renal arteries and iliac arteries for bruits and notif notify physician if auscultated. Percuss for abdominal quadrants systematically. Percuss for presence of kidney inflammation. Perform light palpation of the abdomen. Then palpate the bladder area. No, note characteristics of any masses present. Assess for rebound tenderness in area if area is tender on application. Perform. Let's see you perform deep palpation. For genital urinary system, wear gloves. Assess external genitalia and anus. Assess external genitalia and anus. Discharge, redness, swelling, lesions should be noted. For males, assess and palpate testes. Mass for mass or swelling. For a female, evaluate menstrual history. <laughs> for musculoskeletal system, inspect for size, shape, symmetry, deformities, or muscle mass. Evaluate bilateral strength of upper and lower extremities, ability to squeeze, stress, or hands, and then assess gait or ability to walk unaided or straight. Lastly, we do a neurological assessment. Assess level of consciousness by using Glasgow Common Scale, determine pupil size equal and reaction reactive to light or pearl. Assess gag reflex. Determine presence of or absence of speech impairment. Assess sensory function using safety pin. Assess motor function by noting movement and gait. Document findings of assessment in nursing. Initial assessment form and daily nursing record. So I basically assess the skin, head and neck, so which includes... Uh, Ears, eyes, nose, mouth, neck, and lip nose for thorax and lungs, heart and peripheral vascular system, abdomen, genitourinary system, musculoskeletal system, and neurological system.